Hey everybody, welcome back to Death's Door. I'm Modi Abaranis. We're back, headed towards the camp of the Free Crows. Ready to explore the uh, final area of the game, I believe. Well, there's probably more after this, but, uh, you know, there's going to be like another section with, uh, you know, a twist, I'm sure. Um, just because that seems like that's the kind of game we got going on here. So we found these guys last time. We have uh, Barb the Bard over there trying to uh, compose. And then we have this is where we came in. Okay, so I think this is what it says, right? This is way to the beast lair. Okay, the old watchtower. So that's where we need to go. Um, so before we do that, I think we've explored pretty well so far. I'm not going to go back just yet for anything. Uh, what I want to do, though, is someone mentioned in the comments, and thank you to them for not, like, spoiling things outright. But they said to look around on the shiny things. And I, what I meant, what they meant by that is that we can actually scroll these things around. So we can, like, look at them from all angles. Now, not everything is going to be necessary for that, but there might be a reason for some of these things. Like, I'm wondering if this back of this photograph has something. Aha, look at this. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the five things in the back in the other area. So that's worth a secret look. You have this guy here. Anything here? It's got X's on the side. Anything coming out there? It looks like there's a little bit of a map there. Uh, there's this arrowhead not much use there But it's cool that we can like look at these things like that and there's little puzzles for them. This thing is a just a stone. Okay Anything on the mask That might be the only one so far The horn was given to we give it to somebody already There's nothing on this guy The teddy bear is two-tone, but good um Death contract. Nothing about this. And then we have this guy, the makeshift soul key. Now, this is interesting. I feel like this will go someplace. I don't know. It's hard to say, but we at least we got one puzzle. Okay, let's head over there quick and we'll just do that. That was back in the uh, estate gardens. What is this guy? You there. What is this guy about? My little friend got in my ink supply, my, the poor deer. Although she doesn't seem to mind. Maybe she just loves the smell of ink as much as I do. Oh, well, that explains that. Ask, ask uh, a stupid question, get a stupid answer. All right, here we go. We're back in the, the, the hedge maze here. And again, thank you to Stefan for uh, providing that little hint. It's, it's, you, you've been really good about that. I really appreciate it. I want you to know that. And uh, you've been very good at dropping subtle hints without dropping too much right now. And I've been, I've been really appreciating that. So, uh, yeah, if you think of anything else, you know, if I need it, uh, absolutely. You know, keep it coming. Keep, keep them subtle like you've been doing and uh, we'll be we'll just fine. All right. So we've made it back to the area here and uh this will be something big i feel like so we're looking at this we have to go uh one in the top so this is the first of all this is the the tomb of the the couple right it was like the family tomb right so that makes sense that it would be this photograph that we found inside of the estate so it goes to, uh, one and then that so it's white center and then bottom right whites all the white ones so let's go back and see if we can figure this out without wait um Oh, oh, that's the wrong one. All right, we need something more precise because this is not going to cut it. And pun is intended there. Okay, so it's this one. Oh, well, we got to break them again here. Hold on. All right, let's give it a second. Reset it. All right, so it's this one. One. Two. All right, I have to be much more careful. All right, try it one more time. One. Two. Three. That was the right one. Oh my god, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. We did it! Oh, thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Let's just run into let's just run really nilly into this uh abandoned uh, crypt here. Well not abandoned, because it has a, a secret in it. So what do we find here? Well, um, this is interesting. We found a spade. We found a rusty garden trowel. It looks quite fancy. It must have belonged to someone who loved taking care of plants and flowers. Okay. So you had a fancy uh, spade there, or trowel, rather. 
Um, let's see if there's anything on the trowel. I don't know. An old trowel used for digging small holes to plant seeds. It clearly has been well used. A light coating of rust have formed on the blade. The finer details of the handle have now been worn away through years of happy use. Its previous owner took good care of it. They must have been a keen horticulturalist. An inscription engraved on the metal handle reads, In moon's light, I will appear bright as if a seed is within my sight. What does that mean? That seems like another clue. In moon's light, I appear bright as seeds is in my sight. Okay. What does that mean? That's clever, though, if that's something else, like another piece of the puzzle. So we have this. So, there's got to be a way to open this. And look at that. It has a, like, a meter on it. I wonder what that is. I wonder if I find all of these shiny items. If it would change, maybe. Because I found a lot of them. And we're missing one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven. Now, there's more dots than seven left in the thing here. But it could be seven rows. If each one of these dots remaining is one item, like not dot, the individual dots, but each line of dots is one item, then maybe I need to find all the items in order to open that door. I feel like that might be a, a, the case here. Okay, I'm going to come back to this later. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep finding shiny objects. The next time we find a shiny object, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to take a look for... Uh, I'm going to look at that thing. And see what else I can find. Now, if we need to find shiny objects, we can go back to our tentacle friend here. Uh, Jefferson, the squid, I mean, human. And uh, he will give us more clues. So, let's go back to the uh, the free crow town. And then we'll go find the beast layer. All right. I think we're heading into the beast layer now. Let's go check that out. We've checked everything in here, right? Like, in here we've went, we've gone into. Visited all these folks gathered all the things they had like this is something right this has got to be some type of secret all right let's get up let's get down let's head to fight a beast i guess oh there was a thing there oh look at the wall look at the wall look at the wall, look at the wall. there's a key shaped alcove oh no i want to go back i want to go back it looks like bombable is it bombable oh i don't have enough energy i need something to break I don't have enough energy. Barb, give me something to break. Okay, here we go. Boom. And we find a shiny thing. Find a shiny medallion. You're a real winner. And let's take a look at the medallion here. Where's the medallion? Right here. Medallion belonged to the Free Crows, a breakaway faction of Reapers who chose and quit their jobs and live a natural life. These crows sometimes adorn themselves with medallions, such as this one, which depict the ancient god who they believe prophesied the fall of the Lord of Thors. So it's like an eye. Hmm. I don't know if it's a clue for anything, but... Okay. Cool. Alright, here we go. Beast's Lair. Now, I do want to probably get my big sword back out. Um, I want to do a quick look around here. See what we're missing. If anything. See what's going on over here. Looks like it might be able to hook shot that direction for something. Because there's no wall there. Oh, I wonder if I can... No, I can light that on fire. Hold on. Look at the thing there. No, they went out right away. The smoke from it, though, is, is carrying on. That's interesting, right? I don't think that's nothing. There's got to be a reason for it. Oh, we got a door right here. That's good. Let's pop that guy open. Oh, activate, please. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. So, let's get this direction. All right, another area. Let's go. That guy's down there. So we can light some of those things, I'm thinking. Uh, 
I love this is a two hit kill now. Oh, got a seed. Nice. Did that do anything for me? It went out right away. Okay, so there might be a way to stop the rain from happening. That these things can get lit up. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a that's gonna be a challenge of some kind. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I just had to kill them. Okay, that's nice. Ouch, guy. Ow, okay, don't do that. Ow, ah, okay. Guys, stop. Is there a nuisance? There you go. Have a bomb. I'm mean, gonna keep lighting these because when I see them, because maybe it'll like do something eventually. Hmm, that's interesting, right? Hello, sir. Yeah, bud. I have a big sword too now. You can't get me. I got the reach now. All right. So it looks like a ladder pops up that way. Let's go this direction first, though. All right. So it looks like this door might open if we light the, five, the six torches. Now, lighting the six torches is going to be a trick with the rain like it is. Ouch. Okay, guy. No one's impressed. No one's impressed with your antics. Oh, this guy's gonna stop then. Okay, good. That's nice. I'm nearly dead though. But I'm glad he stopped. I love that these parts just stick around in here too. Oh, jeez. Hey, guy. One of these, uh, boomerang but rose. Oops. Oh, dang it. All right, hold on. The music's been pretty phenomenal in this game all the way through. Do you guys not leave your square? Oh, no! Oh, that's gonna be down to one heart. Now's where I gotta start trying. Down to one heart. Another fireball. So you gotta stop the rain somehow first. There's a fire there was a fire there. I gotta get over there first though. I can't grab the ice. No. I can't get up there that way either. So we have to go around a different direction for that. Alright. Okay, so we got that done, but there's nothing over there. Hmm. There has to be something to do with these, these, tor these, uh. What if I hit them with the hook shot? No, nothing. Hmm. I went that way. I've gone that way. Why am I? Why does it mean a dead end? Oh, it's not a dead end. There's a thing right there. There we go. All right. It wasn't just. It was just not an obvious thing. All right, that opens that up. Does it drop that ladder for me? Uh, it doesn't look like it. All right, whatever. Okay, so we can get back that way now. 
Oh, Barb, you're here too. Hi. Dang, the weather sure is rough up here. The wind's just howling through my pipes. Still, a bit of bad weather has never deterred me before, especially when the beast's so close. Wow. Now, I wonder what it looks like. Based on what the crow said, it sounds like a proper monster. All hairy and wild. Can't wait to see you fight it. Yeah, me neither. Could consume that one right away. All right, so there's a thing here. Oh, I can't get to them. Okay. And going this direction is back the way I came. Right? This is the entrance way. Yeah, yeah. All right, no problem. All right, let's go fight this proper monster. Oh, there's a secret back there for sure. Hold on. I can spot it from a mile away now. Yeah, there we go. All right. And it looks like I can get that direction too somehow eventually. Looks like this will become a through path though eventually, so let's not worry about it for now. All right, and there's that guy. All right. It looks as though... Yeah. Nice. I love quick timing based things here like this. All right, here we go. Ouch. Let's bring him into lasers. Come at the lasers, dude. Ouch. Oh, come on. I'm trying to be fancy here. There we go. Not too bad. Did these lasers turn off then? Thank goodness. And I got a, I got a, a, a seed right there, so that's perfect. Now, is there anything in these directions? Just making sure. All right. All right, I'm gonna take it again right away. Another round of fights. Knocked his face off. This is jawling on the ground right here. I love the reach of this thing. Taking full advantage of that. Yeah, it's got really good reach. There we go. And this will open up the doorway back that direction. All right. It looks like that's something, right? I came this way before, right? No, I don't think so. Maybe it did? I'm not remembering this. Hold on. Let's keep backtracking until I remember something. Oh, this is new. Yeah, this is definitely new. Well, that means there was a secret to find that I missed. Hold on. So it looks like a, either one direction or the other direction. One direction is not the right way, so that was going to have a secret. Oh, wait, can I get, even get back here? Uh, okay, good. All right, yeah, because it looked like if we go north from here, there was something going on, right? Yeah, there's this. Looking back around that way. Oh, there's this though. All right. I'm gonna save that one actually. Famous last words, I know, but. We'll take a risk every now and then. What is this? Doesn't look like there's a way back. 
Oh, this is how I get to the fire over there. Okay, so that's the other fireball I need to get. But it doesn't do any good. Until they can stay lit, it doesn't do any good. All right. All right, let's go up. Okay, let's go back across the windmill area here to the icy area we saw before. And keep exploring that direction, because it looks like we're going to be coming back this way anyways. Once we get whatever's over here. So I'm going to circle back around, and we're going to have another thing to collect. Let's go. Let's do some uh, ice combat. This guy already spilled. I had a spill already. We're already pros at this ice stuff already from the other challenge. Oh, I wanted to check that out, but I don't think I want to. I don't know if there's a way to look around there, but... Alright, so we have this whole situation. Nice. I like that challenge. Oh, gosh. Come on, guy. You of all people... Last, last help, last help. All right. Hopefully we don't get to a big challenge here. We will, though, because every single time it's been like a big challenge before we get to the end. Oh, maybe not, though. Could be wrong. Or it could be just a bigger, even bigger battle than expected. Oh, no, good. Okay, now we can get our seed, though, that we just left there. Perfect timing. All right. That drops that, and if we can get over there, we can get that. Whoop. All right. So killing myself. Nicely done. No deaths this episode. No deaths. That's what we're shooting for. Of course, we probably have a boss fight, so there might be some deaths. Okay, here we go. Something's going on here. You guys are crazy. I love it. Ouch. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, no! I love the music. It's so good. Very dramatic. You can't get me. I'm out of energy. Oh, no, 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 no. No does. The fade away. Oh, my God. We done it. Beautiful. All right. Holding on. It's coming. It's come very close a couple times, but this looks interesting, right? Why is there a thing here? Like, there's something, like, to throw underneath there or something, you know? I don't know. Alright, hopefully there's another seed over here. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Which means we're probably at the beast layer now. Let's go do it. Oh, you're coming here too? Alright. Oh, there's a there's a door right here. 
that's a big problem because you don't want to you you have a difficult fight ahead of you if there's a door right next to the arena you have a difficult fight ahead of you just you know basic game design there this is it that's the beast oh boy my heart is pounding are you gonna fight it of course i am i'm gonna stay well out of the way and uh take notes for my song good luck i got this famous last words into the bear pit or yeti pit it's a proper monster betty oh is this the guy's love oh no all right betty what you got all right jumping attacks okay i'm ready for that swing attacks okay oh rolling attacks too huh okay ouch okay i don't like that Rolling into a slam. Okay, this, this is not going to be no death episode. Oh, she's good. She's good. Oh, she's so good. Oh, new moves, huh? No, I had it. I was, I had the, I had the, the rhythm. Death. Like I said, it's going to be an extreme boss fight if there's a door right there. That's way too close to a boss room. There we go. Nice bomber off the bat. I wonder if I should do something quicker. My first hit. It's weaker, but maybe it's quicker. No, so there's not a lot of range to it, though. I got it closer. Oh, that's not good, though, for those kind of attacks. Ah, uh, see, I think, I think it's going to be better to be closer. Switch him back. The range is better. Oh, new moves, huh? Time's perfect. Well, there goes a perfect game. Oh, so there's a second one, perfect game. to get it again with that all right i have the rhythm clearly i just gotta do it oh god i love this i love when i find the right rhythm like i was hitting it i was really hitting it all right here we go ah well oh shoot Roll too soon there. Oh, roll too late there. Oh, shoot. We're going to die again. Don't die. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. I love this game so much. 
The Crow Awakens. I have all three. Sorry, buddy. We gather here today to mourn the passing of Betty. I wonder if her her husband or whatever is going to be here. Her lo old lover, the guy at the 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 uh, sunken sailor or whatever. To some, she was revered as a god. To others, feared as a wild and tame beast. And to a small few, loved as a radiant beauty. After many lifetimes, it lived atop the, atop the mountain, supplying locals with fur and untimely deaths. She can now rest. Bow your head in remembrance. Pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. <sighs> We've done it. We're paying our last respects. Well, I think the snow stopped. Let's go take a look for some secrets. Now yeah, well, I'm gonna talk to these guys. You have you have enough material for your song? What an incredible adventure this has been. Full of twists and turns. So, Betty and the Beast were one and the same. Amazing. That means the drunken guy at the Stranded Sailor. Was he in love with the Beast? Whoa. I kind of feel bad for them both now. Dead or heartbroken? What do you think is worse? They're both kind of tragic. Still, it's great material for a song, huh? I'm going to start writing straight away. That's the spirit. Once it's ready, come by the Stranded Sailor sometime and I'll play it for you. Oh, yeah. We're going to do that. Hi there, Grave Digger. What you got? Another demonic soul's anger quelled, Reaper. May they find peace in death. I'm doing a good thing. I mean, yes, it's sad that Betty had to die, but Betty had to die. I'm just doing my job here, first of all. You know what? I'm just doing my job. And, but, uh, you know what? Also, they've they've lived a good life. They've they've had a lot. You know, they're not like, uh, you know, they're not, they're living abnormally long. They shouldn't be alive still, technically. Whatever. I'm going back. And we have a lot of doors for this area. Holy cow. Okay. So I want to wrap it up there. This is a good spot to stop. We'll come back next time and we will explore the area again and see if we can light up those fires and open up that big door. And then we'll uh, continue on with the rest of the game after that. We can probably go back through and find a lot of secrets now. We'll go to the Stranded Sailor and hear the song from Barb the Bard and all that good stuff. So guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. And I'll be back for another one very soon. See ya. Bye.